Uh, my name is Mahmoud Suleiman. I am a, a professor of teacher education at California State University, Bakersfield in California. And uh, my grant was during the uh, year 2009-2010 uh, in the area of teacher education. And my host country is uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, the focus of my grant uh, was a combination of teaching and research, uh, where I was engaged in a variety of activities uh, helping uh, uh, the uh, BTC, the Bahrain Teachers College, uh, working with colleagues and, and administrators to help uh, uh, meet the state initiative's expectations uh, uh, regarding teacher quality. So I was um, uh, a part of uh, an, an academy uh, which consists of a series of workshops for vice principals. Um, I uh, developed uh, um, uh, a series of workshops and implemented a lot of those uh, to help vice principals and administrators basically uh, improve the instructional practices at their school site. I also worked with candidates uh, uh, and worked with them on uh, uh, some ways to uh, develop um, a knowledge and skill base and compile a portfolio that, that reflects their knowledge and skill base based on the uh, Ministry of Education expectations and the national standards um, they have regarding teacher quality and uh, uh, in order to be uh, qualified to reach out to the children uh, in the K-12 through system. Fulbright has always been in the back of my mind and throughout my professional years um, I wanted to apply uh, but I never got the chance to because I was uh, running a, a program uh, and then I was a, a department chair and you know that uh, doesn't allow much time for uh, research and grant writing and everything else that goes with it. So uh, spring 2008 I stepped down as a department chair and then I uh, got into uh, the application process um, because I wanted uh, to uh, take advantage of that uh, opportunity to uh, um, promote my knowledge and skill base uh, beyond the professional routine that you do f for, for a while, basically. So it was uh, a great opportunity and uh, uh, I, I, I found it uh, to be extremely rewarding. My advice is basically to get on with the application process. I'm the kind of person who really get terrified from the paperwork and, you know, filling out rigid forms and uh, going through each line, each box, each field and so on. But once I got into the online uh, uh, website for the Fulbright in the State Department, it was really well organized, very intuitive, uh, and uh, it was really fun to complete. And uh, you don't have really to uh, complete it in one hour or two hours. You can take a break and come back to it and so on. So I. Uh, uh, encourage everyone to seize that opportunity. In fact, I have been uh, talking to my students and my colleagues uh, and encouraging them to, to apply um, and uh, uh, take advantage of this uh, opportunity because it is a, a prestigious thing to have. So it was extremely helpful, the uh, uh, information that was put on the website and the hands-on support you get from uh, uh, colleagues like your, yourself and the professional staff at the State Department um, uh, who really uh, hold your hand and answer every question there is. Uh, the application process is uh, uh, extremely easy, very intuitive and very uh, uh, rewarding in fact because it gives you an opportunity to update your resume and uh, reflect about what you take for granted about your knowledge and skill base. Living in a, in a different culture is always rewarding. Uh, myself, you know, when I came to the States back in the mid 80s, uh, I have found uh, uh, living outside your own culture is a rewarding process because you uh, actually get out of the prison of your own background, knowledge and uh, skill and social uh, circle and everything else. Uh, and you, you experience uh, a process of gain and loss. Uh, you know, you're away from family and uh, from your home country and so on and so forth, but uh, the gain outweighs everything else. And uh, it is extremely rewarding to become part of a, 
a different society because you get exposed to uh, another global reality that would be uh, impossible otherwise. And uh, living in the Kingdom of Bahrain, I have been fortunate to interact with people who are different from me, people who come from different walks of life, people who come from different cultures. It's a, 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 a cross bridge for a lot of international uh, uh, trade, uh, uh, cultural and social events and educational events. So it, it's, it's a, a remarkable opportunity for me that has actually contributed my, to my understanding of what it means to be a human. And it did promote an understanding uh, for myself uh, by under trying to understand others who are different from me. So, um, and and uh, I, I don't uh, think that you can get that reward easily otherwise, uh, unless you really uh, take the risk uh, that is worth taking and then uh, 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 try it out. Uh, and uh, it's a win-win process. And finally, I would like to thank uh, all the support from the uh, uh, people of Bahrain and the State Department and the U.S. Embassy and the wonderful staff uh, and administrators who run the Fulbright uh, project. They do an excellent job uh, during the pre-departure orientation and post uh, the, the departure orientation and throughout the residency. They are always for you, they always look for you, and they always uh, make sure that uh, you get all the support you need.